Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. The lighting's really weird because the sun is up over here, but it is my 36 week baby appointment. So I'll have an update after I go in, even though I'm like almost 37 weeks because of like when my appointments fall, but whatever. This is like technically my 36th one, but I'll be 37 weeks like in a couple of days. But yeah, um, I'm here. When I get back um, from my appointment, I'll have a live update and a baby update. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so welcome back. I just got done with my appointment. Um, but to give you guys a little life update, I know I haven't been posting as much recently, but that's because I haven't really been up to a lot. The past couple of days, Kyle and I have went fishing like most of the day. I can insert some pictures like after this little segment or whatever, but we've been doing that. Yesterday we went to Target and got the last things that we needed for our nursery. So I'm probably gonna do a nursery tour later this week. And then um, I plan to film what's in my hospital bag um, tonight. So that should be up later this week also. But yeah, not a lot is going on. Just kind of getting ready for baby, still social distancing and stuff. And yeah. To update you guys on my appointment, that is the worst appointment I have had my entire pregnancy. I literally almost cried the second I walked into the building. I understand healthcare providers are doing everything they can to keep us safe and healthy and all of these things. But the second I walked in today, they take my temperature and put a mask on my face. The temperature thing I'm used to, they've done it the past couple of times, but they didn't ask me to put the mask on my face. They just basically just threw it on my face. They didn't even ask, they didn't tell me they were gonna do it. They just, I walked in and they literally just put it on my face. And like, I have a very small face. I have very, very small ears, so it didn't fit. I took some pictures with it on to show you guys. It did not fit. I like could not breathe with it on because of like my glasses and stuff. If they would have asked me, I would have asked for a child size probably if they had one or like if they would have like called me to tell me everyone had to wear a mask, I would have probably like bought my own that was smaller. So I was very uncomfortable the whole time. Um, they... I don't know it just it did not rub me the right way because I am capable of putting a mask on my own face so if you guys have a doctor's appointment this week and they do that I warned you um but yeah I'm telling you guys this because I want my vlogs to be very real and relatable and I don't ever want to lie and just be like I had the best appointment day like I don't want to be like that I just I wanted to tell you how it is because if I go back and watch these one day I want to be like yeah I remember that that sucked but to update on baby, her heartbeat was 150. Um, everything's fine with me. Like, I'm still healthy and everything. She checked to see if I'm dilated. She said, I'm not dilated, but I'm close, whatever that means. So, I'm not there yet. But she, like, gave me some tips on how to, like, um, move it along if I want to, like, try to have her soon. Because she said, from any point now, I can have her. So I am going to try those because I would like to have her like today. <laughs> Honestly, I want her out of me. <laughs> but um, that's just kind of what is going on with that. I'm going to go home. I'm very happy to not be inside that building anymore. Um, it literally only gave me anxiety and kind of pissed me off. But anyways, yeah that's where i'm at thank you guys for tagging along there will be some other content in this video i'm just not sure what it's going to be yet so stay tuned welcome friends to part two of this vlog it's gonna be run errands with me slash what i'm doing today so it's actually really nice outside and it's been kind of raining the past couple days 
and since I was already out and about for my doctor's appointment I am now at Aldi's and I'll do a little grocery haul when I get back in the car and then I have to go to the post office to mail thank you cards and my mom's Mother's Day present so that's what I'm up to and yeah just kind of what I'm doing today All right, friends, welcome to my grocery haul. So I'm gonna show you just kind of what I got and all of this was $38, so not expensive at all, at all these. I got American cheese and Swiss cheese because I bought um, white bread for Kyle and wheat bread for me for like sandwiches and stuff. And then I bought Kyle some barbecue chips because that was his request. I'm trying to do this in my car. I don't really know why I could just go home and do it. But. And then I got some of this pasta because I thought it looked yummy. And then I got some New Orleans style dirty rice. I've never seen dirty rice before at um, Aldi, so I thought I would try it. And then I got these two little snackies for me for right now. They're just like fit and active. One's a blueberry and hemp, and then the other one is strawberry banana fruit bar. They're like 100 calories. I thought they'd be a fun little snack. And then I got some fruit for some smoothies. It's pineapple mango strawberries and papaya corn dogs for my honey got some carrots because carrots are a yummy snack oh my god guys i was just looking for my phone and i realized that i'm recording on it i got some raisins for a snack i wanted to get stuff that was quick and easy because like i'm getting kind of pregnant and i don't really like to cook um i got this for like the vegetables and stuff that i got and um it's greek vinaigrette and just kind of for like like if i make a buddha bowl or something i got chocolate because i bought strawberries and i thought it would be a cute little fun thing for kyle and i to do to make like chocolate covered strawberries because he said the other day that like he wanted to do that i got popcorn for a snack here's the turkey for the sandwiches I got jambalaya and quinoa for Buddha bowls well the jambalaya I got because I like it um, I got these fun little mini ice cream sandwiches because I thought they looked good and then I got a thing of strawberries a thing of sweet potatoes and three avocados but I'm not gonna show those because like, they're kind of they're a reach and then I got these for Kyle for breakfast. But that's just kind of my little grocery haul. I got quite a bit of stuff for only $38. Lots of stuff that's gonna last us a while and stuff that's kind of easy to make because like if I was to um, have Magnolia anytime soon, I don't want a bunch of food at home that we have to cook. I would rather have stuff that is quick and easy, not stuff to where it's like, it has like eight, eight ingredients and like takes an hour to cook and stuff. I want like easy to eat stuff on hand just in case because she can come any day now. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Just got done at the post office. I sometimes feel like the post office is just one of those things people who are younger just like are never really taught about because like I walked in and I had um 30 thank you cards to send in like one package and I was just like I was like confused I knew I needed stamps but like I don't know it was just confusing and if you guys get confused at the post office please comment down below or is there just a lesson on the post office that I just never learned because like I just the whole setup of the whole building confuses me <laughs> but there's just a little story about my stop 
All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and film my outro because I don't know what else I'm doing today. I don't really know what else is going to go in this vlog. But thank you guys so much. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. I have lots of different content. Right now, it's like all baby stuff, but that's because I'm very, very pregnant. <laughs> but, um,. I would really appreciate the subscribe and the like and share this with your friends. Um, I always try to keep it real. I'm never going to lie to you. And I just try to tell you what's up with me in my life. But yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one.